All right, and hello everyone, it is me, Jay Burns, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you all how to make this bracelet right here. This bracelet I made over a year ago, and I named it the Coral Fish Bracelet, because as you can see here, there is a fish tail here in the middle, and then I also have fish tail borders on the fish tail here. So I'll have a link in the description to the original post where I was asking if this design was original and yeah I'll be showing you how to make it. Now if this is your first hook only design, which this design is a hook only design, then I would recommend trying other designs and practicing using your hook and making designs with borders on them. Before you try this one it's not a very good beginner's bracelet, but if you want to give it a try, then you can. And so to make this bracelet, you will need a hook. And if you have a double-ended hook, so there's one hook on one side, and then on the other side there's another hook, then I would recommend getting that out for the design. Now, if you have two hooks, this can substitute for having a double-ended hook, and I'll show you how to use two separate hooks in this tutorial. If you only have one hook, then I'll also show you how to do how to switch the bands up and stuff for that. But it's a lot harder if you just use one hook, so I would recommend having two or having a double-ended hook. All right, you'll also need a clip. Any clip for rubber band bracelets should work fine. I'm using a C-clip. And then of course you will need rubber bands. There are two groups and the groups are the fishtail here in the very center, so these orange bands. And I usually make the center fishtail just one color. And in this tutorial I'll be using two colors, I'll be going in a little bit of a pattern with two colors in this tutorial. So the A bands are your fishtail in the middle. The B rubber bands are going to be the two fishtails on the outside that are the border here. So they're the pink, blue, and purple bands here on the outsides and are also kind of inside the middle fishtail there. And in this tutorial I'll be using two colors for the borders as well, doing a little pattern with them. Alright, so anyway, another thing you might want to know how to do before you start this tutorial is know how to make a fishtail on your hook. That'll make this tutorial a lot easier to follow with, and also easier to make this bracelet. If you don't know how to make a fishtail with just your hook, then I'll have a link in the description to a tutorial I made showing you how to do that. And yeah. Also, for the number of bands you'll need, in the description I'll have a little equation that you just need to know how many bands you need to make yourself a fishtail, and then you can figure out what you need for the border. So just look in the description for pretty much a little equation to help you figure out about how many bands you'll need and yeah so just use the pause button to get the supplies you're going to need for this and we're going to go ahead and get started all right so i'm going to go ahead and just start out with this hook here and what we're going to do is we're going to start by making our the beginning of the center fish tail here so we're going to first start by making our cat band twisting the band while it's on our hook and putting this new little loop here on our hook as well. Now we got our cap band. Then we're going to take two more rubber bands, put them on our hook like so, and slide this cap band onto the new bands. Then put the other end of these new bands onto our hook as well and make sure you have one rubber band that's in the middle and the other rubber band is here, these two loops on the outside. It's very important that you keep your bands organized when you make this. Alright, now we're going to get a third A color band. So still the center fishtail here. Slide these two bands on. And we're going to do the first fishtail stitch. So to do that you just grab you just put the two loops that are on the outside, so this first loop closest to your hook, and then this loop that's furthest away from your hook, 
and the, both of these loops should be the same rubber band and you just put those on your hook like that and then you put the other end of this new band onto your hook as well alright now we're going to start adding the borders so to do this you're going to take a B color band or border band you're going to put it on your hook like so then you're just going to pull these first two loops onto the new band then push this little loop here that's already on your hook and that is also your border band a little bit further in to the hook and then put these two loops back on your hook so you should end up with something like this here make sure you keep your bands in order as well and now what we're going to do with this little border loop that's on our hook we're going to carefully take that pull it over these two A color loops and also over the hook part of our hook like that be careful with this end here if you need to put your finger in there to hold it then you can but make sure you end up with something like that and then we're going to put the other end of this new band that's not on our hook yet onto our hook and now we should have something like this here now is when we need to flip our bands around so we can add the same thing here on the other side so if you have a double ended hook all you'll have to do is just push these bands over to the other side if you have two hooks what you'll do is you'll take your second hook and make sure your hook the second hook is pointing the opposite direction as this one so as you can see this hook is pointing towards the left this second hook needs to be pointing towards the right then you stick your hook through all the same bands that are on the first hook and once they're on you would take the bands off the first hook and then all the bands will be on the second hook and you just turn your hook around and the bands will be flipped now I'm going to go ahead and explain what you need to do if you only have one hook so I would recommend getting a another rubber band pretty much kind of like a junk rubber band so a rubber band that's not going to be a part of the bracelet so I'm going to use this blue one here and what you do is you put it on your hook like you're about to add it to the bracelet slide every single band onto this band and be sure to keep them all in order so the same order they were on your hook make sure they stay in that order when you put them on this new band then put the other end of this new band on your hook once everything's on then pinch the two sides of the band that are on your hook together take it off then turn this band around so instead of flipping all the bands and grabbing all of them and flipping them you're just flipping this one band and then make sure when you put the band or put this band back on that down here the other bands on this new rubber band are flipped so this green or this teal band was on the left now it's on the right and so once you've checked that you're going to take this side of this rubber band so the side closest to the hook part of your hook right here you're going to take that off but hold on to it and then push your hook through all these bands on the junk rubber band here and make sure you get all the bands that were on your hook before back on and then take that junk rubber band out and just put it off to the side until you need it again because you're gonna have to flip this these bands a lot to make this bracelet and now your bands are flipped so that's what you do if you only have one hook so if you ever need to see that again then you'll just come back to this part of the video I'll have the times written in the description and I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my double ended hook here so the tutorial will be a little bit faster now alright so basically what we did over on this side where we added a border band we're gonna do here on the opposite side so we're gonna get another border band B color band put on our hook like so slide only these first two loops 
onto this new band. And kind of push this new loop here a little bit further into the hook, or onto the hook. And then put these A color loops back on our hook. And we should end up with something like this here. Then this B color loop here on our hook, we're just going to carefully pull it off and over the hook like so. Making sure this loop that's not on our hook doesn't go through or anything. So now you got something like that there. And then you can put the other end of this new B color band onto your hook as well. Alright, once you've done that, now you're going to get another A color band. So for the middle fishtail here, you're going to put it on your hook like so. You're going to slide this first B color band, or this, uh, this first B color loop, and all of your fishtail bands on. So just leave that one loop there. And then you're just going to do a fishtail loop, but completely ignore this B color band here on the outside. So you're just going to do a regular fishtail stitch, getting those two outside loops there. And then you'll also need to put that B color loop back on your hook as well. Then go ahead and put the other end of this new band on your hook. And then slide this new loop underneath this B color band. So just like that, you should end up with something like this here. And now we need to add more border bands. Alright, so once again what you do is you take a border band, you put it on your hook like so. Then we're going to slide these first three loops now. So this loop and then these two A color bands. Then we're going to put only these two A color bands back on our hook. So make sure you push this loop here on your hook a little further in. And then just put those two A color loops back on your hook. Then you're going to take this B color loop that's on your hook. Slide it off and over your hook like so. Careful. And once you've done that, since you only have two of the B color loops here on the outside, we're going to put them both back on. And now we've added another little B color band here. So we're kind of getting the fishtail here on the border started. But anyway, now we need to go ahead and do the other side. So we need to flip the bands around, so whatever method you're using for that, use the pause button if you need extra time. We're going to do the same exact thing over on the side. Take the band, put it on your hook like so. Slide these first three loops onto the new band. Push this little loop here a little further in and put only the A color bands back on. Then take this loop here, pull it off and over the hook a little bit sure this loop stays. And then, because we only have two B color loops out here, we're going to put them both back on our hook. And there we go. Alright, now we're going to add another center fishtail band. So get another A color band. And this time what we need to do is now we need to also now we have another loop that we need to put on this new band, so these two B color loops are going on to the new band, and then all of your fishtail bands, so all of your other A color bands are also going on. And just like before, we're just going to completely ignore these B color bands here on the side, and then also these two that are still on our hook, and we're just going to do a regular fishtail stitch pretending that those B color loops are not even there. 
Then once you've done your fishtail there, you're going to go ahead and put those other bee collar loops back on your hook. And then also put the other end of this new band onto your hook as well. And then you'll need to organize the bands. So bring this A collar loop underneath the B ones and get it into the center. And now we need to add more border bands. Alright. So now we're going to start doing the fishtail stitches for the borders now. And it's just a little bit different than what we've done before when we added borders. But it's it's very similar. There's just one little difference. So we're going to take our B color band or border band, put it on our hook like so. Slide the first four loops, so these two B color loops here, and then these two A color loops onto the new band. Just like before, we're going to take the two A color loops and just kind of put them back on our hook and make sure this other band gets further onto our hook. So we got something like this here. We're going to take this end here, carefully slide it off and over the hook part here, like so. There we go. And then this time, as you can see, we have three of our B color loops hanging off our hook here. Instead of taking all three and putting them back, we're only going to take these outside two. So it's really easy to grab them because usually the outside two are literally right next to each other and you can just grab them like this and put them back on your hook. So as you can see we left one of the B color loops behind and it's just a part of the fishtail. It's starting the fishtail for the border. So now we're going to flip the bands around whatever method you're using for that. Go ahead and use it. And we're going to do the same thing here on the other side. So you're going to take a border band, B color band, put it on your hook like so, slide these first four loops on there, and the bands are getting out of order, there we go. We're going to kind of push this loop here that's on our hook a little further in, and then put these two A color loops back on, so we got something like this here going on. And then this loop here on our hook, we're just going to carefully pull it off and over. And once you've done that, we're only going to take these two outside B color loops and put them back onto our hook. And there you go. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you what you need to do one more time. And then I'm going to show you how to close off the design because it's very easy once you see how you do it. And if I feel I need to go a second time, then I will. But just to keep this tutorial short, we're going to—I'm just going to show you one more time. All right. So the first step is to take an A color band for your center fishtail and add it. And to do that, you're going to pull the first six loops, so these two B color loops here, and then all of your A color bands. Make sure you keep everything in order as well. And once you've done that, we're going to completely ignore these B color loops that we have on our band, and we're just going to do a regular fishtail stitch with the A color bands here. There we go. And once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and put these B color bands back on your hook as well. And then the other end of this new rubber band. Once you've done this, you'll need to reorganize the bands. So make sure that you slide the A color band underneath those B color loops there. Make sure it gets into the center. And now we need to add more border bands. So, to add a border band, you take it and you put it on your hook like so. You slide the first four loops onto the band. 
Make sure everything stays in order. Then, you're going to kind of take this loop here, slide it in a little more, and put those two A collar loops back on your hook. Now you should have something like this here. We're going to take this loop that's here on our hook, carefully pull it off and over the hook like so. And then we're going to take the two outside B color loops here. We're going to take both of them and put them back on our hook as well. Leaving that closest one to our hook down here. Then you need to flip the bands around. So if you're whatever method you're using to flip your bands around, go ahead and do that. Use the pause button if you need to. And we'll do the same thing with another border band here on the opposite side. So you take the band, you put it on your hook like so. You slide these first four loops on. Make sure you keep it all in order. Then, you kind of pull this loop a little bit closer, or a little bit further onto the hook. And then put only those two A color loops back on. And you have a little something like this here. And this loop here on your hook. You take it and pull it off and over. And then you take these two B color loops here that are on the outside. So the outer two most. So as you can see there's three. We just grab the two furthest away from the hook and we put those back on. And there you go, that's the pattern. So if you need to see the pattern again, I'll have a little time in the description that you can click on and it'll take you back to the time where I started to show you the pattern and you can just watch that as many times as you need to to figure out how you make the pattern and stuff and you just keep making the bracelet until it's long enough to fit around your wrist or until if you run out of bands if you got the exact number you need so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you close off the bracelet and make it a bracelet alright so it's really easy make sure you have finished the entire pattern and once you've done that all you have to do is take any color rubber band you can use your a color or you can use a b color it doesn't matter I'm gonna go ahead and use an a color band so you can use what you use in the middle or on the border I usually use what I've used in the middle and what you do is you just take the band put on your hook like so and slide all the bands on your hook onto this one band here. And so once you've done that, you're going to get your clip and attach it to this band here on your hook, like so. And what's it's all there, you can take this rubber band here off your hook, and you don't really need your hook anymore. And then you're going to take your clip and attach it to the cap band here on the other end of your bracelet. And then you have your bracelet. So mine isn't exactly a bracelet, so I can't really put it on, but now you should have your coral fish bracelet. So anyway, now it's time for the outro. So I would like to thank you for watching my tutorial. Hopefully showed you how to make my coral fish bracelet successfully. And hopefully now you have one. I think it's kind of cool design. And yeah. That's actually pretty much all I have to say for this tutorial, other than thanks for watching, and bye!